Okay, so I just want to talk a little bit about my story and the idea of just emptying out, um, emptying out my ego. Uh, and uh, the course talks a lot about about uh, guilt as well. I would say guilt, guilt, fear, and this feeling of separation. At the age of thirty, um, I was in active addiction, uh, primary addictions. Uh, with food addiction, also I was in working in the stock market, uh, extreme workaholism, and in a very in a very dark place, acting out on all, all of these all of these addictions, and it was like, um, and then suddenly, um, I, I had kidney failure uh, in the Royal Free Hospital, and doctors were rushing to save my life, and I surrendered, and I had a heavenly timeless spiritual experience in the hospital bed. And I actually heard a message to say, find a spiritual solution. Later I got into the work of Dr. Hawkins and I realized that by having all this guilt and all this shame and all this fear in me and pursuing these external things like these addictions to try and get relief or try and find happiness in the world, I, had, I was in a field of consciousness where I was attracting. My, you know, the symbolically guilt means I need to be punished. Or I need to, you know, I need, I need, I need to find unconsciously uh, 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 punishing situations. And actually, in, in my life, because I was vibrating, let's say, at this very uh, unspiritual level, I, I was attracting all kinds of destructive things. Uh, uh, I, had, I had a destructive career in the stock market, which was killing me. Uh, I was eating food in a suicidal way. I was choosing relationships as well, which were uh, uh, extremely bad for me. And I, that was holographic in every area of life, in food, in work, in relationships. I was just, I had so much fear and guilt and shame in me, and I was being run by these addictions. So, you know, eventually it became life-threatening. You know, I was, I was eating in a way, and I was doing a career which was so, uh, which was, you know, a lot of people die in the stock market, it's that intense. And I was choosing relationships and getting into relationships which were, uh, which were also threatening to, to my life existence. And I was not consciously, but unconsciously choosing everything that, so I could kill myself as fast as possible. Anyway, I had this uh, spiritual experience and I was given a DVD and I, I realized then, okay, if I hold so much negativity and so many negative beliefs and, so, and I'm orchestrated by this field of fear and separation and guilt, that I have to get rid of all of these repressed emotions, all the shame, the guilt, the fear, all of my negative belief systems or limiting belief systems, or all my dark belief systems, and all the things I was trying to get relief from in the world, and get to this place of inner peace and love, and, and just disentangle everything from me. And I realized that uh, a couple of things, I do, I do a few things like feeling the feelings, the observer, and the Course in Miracles. But like every single belief system I've got has to be released. So uh, a great way to do that is the Course in Miracles. Um, one of my favorite lessons is like lesson 14, like God did not create whatever, so it's not real. So God did not create, um, God did not create uh, bad jobs, so they're not real. God did not create bad donuts so they're not real or God did not create bad relationships so they're not real or doing the forgiveness work even though I, I like to do this stuff because I've had this these later I had these profound spiritual experiences so I realized actually you can delete any any experience in the past can be totally deleted from consciousness as you return to the light in fact if you're willing to give up any kind of meaning that it has it starts to disappear and if you sit with your feelings you can you can start to empty out all these uh, repressed emotions and all these uh, thoughts which are pulling in all these very, very bad situations, people, places and situations that are coming into my life. So I realized, I realized then, uh, and I was introduced to Teachers of Enlightenment, I knew that was my path. And Teachers of Enlightenment say that you can get 100%. You can let go of the ego and have ego death and go transcend everything within your ego that pulls in all this suffering and all, all this chaos and, in my case, suicidal tendencies to the gates of death and hell. So I was really excited to do the work. One of the things was sitting. Whenever I felt fear or trauma or hatred or self-loathing, 
and I, I share this and, and have lots of videos on this and feeling the feelings and we're doing this later on but just uh, just being with oneself and not identifying with thoughts and letting all these emotions come out and just release them all invite them all to come up and release them <clears throat> in terms of transcending belief systems um, like the Course in Miracles, God did not create it so it's not real or I place this situation or this person into the hands of God or whatever it is. You, I could start to like do them and I was doing them, I was doing the Course so that I would no longer remember these or that they would even exist in my consciousness. I would like totally delete out all there was and feel out the repressed emotions and then I could be in this state of presence and love and these things that my ego is holding on to can be 100% deleted. And I did this, uh, you know, I had a very difficult relationship with my mother um, and I wanted to transcend what my mother wanted to, to be. So I realized what I had to transcend was like her facial expressions, her voice tone, all outcomes and expectations, uh, to not expect her to be any different and to totally release the way uh, for people who are aware, of, I like the word that Dr. Hugh Len uses, who's one of the guys who did a bunch of data. All the references that my ego had of the past to be totally deleted so that they're, they're neutralized. And so I did the work, like God did not create uh, uh, a negative reaction to my mother's voice tone, so it's not real. God did not create negative facial expressions on my mother, so it is not real. Uh, I place my outcomes and expectations of what I think my mother should be into the hands of God. So I was doing all of this stuff and wanting to be full freedom. And what happened with my mother was I had this miraculous thing. And as I released all these repressed emotions, I knew I was starting to vibrate. And also the things coming into my life uh, were better and better. All my illnesses left me, my kidney failure, I had a transplant, I was discharged from the asthma clinic. My relationship with my mother was restored. I now do, uh, I'm now doing work and, and teaching things which I love to teach. So all of these things shifted and it's as, as I released my ego and I was willing to 100% to clear all the repressed emotions and all the symbolic meaning of everything that happened in my past, it's like better and better things came into my life. Um, I also sort of see like, um, yes, these belief systems, if I hold on to them, have a way of attracting things which are, you know, which are horrific. So, um, you know, lessons like I'm not a victim of the world I see. Uh, another thing that I learnt from spiritual work and the Course is like not to seek myself in externals. You know, like uh, the, the Course does say this over and over again and that's why I really love the Course. Even though I, th I see a lot of the Course teachers don't really talk as hardcore as the Course language often is. It's like, Nothing in the world, there is nothing out there in the world for you. You know, it's like just seek it in the peace of God. You know, that's the only place you're going to find it. So otherwise, when you have these false gods, you know, they, 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 they're never going to work out. So it's, it really gives a thing to let go. I'm not saying that uh, people need to do that, but that's, the, that's what, how I sort of framed it. Because I really want to be in the world, but not be of the world. Um, you know, to have a sort of... My source to be to be that which is unchanging, and when I get into my ego, I want my source to be something that is transitory and changing in the world. But I know to the extent that I do that, there there will be suffering. So um, so yeah, so cancelling beliefs, placing things into the hands of God, and various other course lessons, uh, sitting with feelings, and doing other things, uh, and that actually the ego is just holding. It holds these um, negative belief systems, these, these emotions, or even these trauma packages. Just they're just like collections of th thoughts, images, memories, vo voices. They're strong visceral emotions, and you can release all of those emotions, sitting with those emotions, and just say, you know, like uh, this memory is meaningless. You know, God did not create it, and so it's not real. Or this person is meaningless; it's not real. Or this thing that happened is meaningless, and so it's not real. Or uh, like um, placing, you know, um, often when I say, uh, Hawkins said, like, another way of doing it is like I cancel my belief in this thing. Uh, I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind. And because I know you sort of wash these things out in the light of God, 
you wash them out, you keep washing them out, put them in the light, of, put a donut in the light of God, and my mother in the light of God, traumatic experience into the light of God. And as you put them in the light over and over again, and as you let these things come out, it's like they start to dissipate. You know, some of them may take longer than others. So that for me is the spiritual work as you, uh, for releasing. I do believe that um, you know, there, there can be patterns that get repeated over and over again. Uh, and until, the, until these repressed emotions and the belief systems are like taken out of the consciousness, they, they can happen over and over again in different forms. Like I was, but for me, when I'm very disconnected, I will, I'm in a vibration where I just choose everything. Every choice I make ends up being something that's going to be harmful or a form of self-harm. On, on, it's holographically happened. So doing the spiritual work, you tune into these vibrations where there's more of an attraction to good things. But you have to, for me, uh, the Course in Miracles is letting go. Uh, you have to let go of the bad stuff and then the good stuff starts to come in.